Hey y'all, so we are back with another video and today I am shooting nail content and I bring y'all along with me. So today I went to the thrift store uh, or thrift shop, whatever you want to call it. And I'm looking for some blue jeans to match my blue jean nails. They really didn't have nothing. This is all I left out with y'all. I bought some stupid stuff. I don't know why that big old margarita glass. I don't know why. So now I'm pretty much just going to wing it and my hair didn't come out either how I wanted to because I wanted to really put myself in the video this time because I never do. But that didn't work out so we're not doing it. So now you just see me um, clipping out my toenails. Um, I haven't had any press on toenails on in maybe two weeks. So I got to clip them down, get them prepped for my bling toenail set. And if y'all want to see how I did the nails that I'm wearing... Watch the previous video, I'll have a link to down below, and you'll see the process in making the nails, because I'm not going to show it in this one. So, as you can see, my sister came down bothering me, but now I'm just um, clipping my nails down, getting, about to get prepared them, to put the press-on toenails on. Y'all, I love press-on toenails. I got a pedicure one time from a nail salon, and that was over a year ago, and I ain't been back since. Like, once I started making my own press-on toenails, and seeing how long they last... Oh, girl, I ain't going back. All right, so and since it's been a while since I've had on nails and um, I'm going to remove any dead skin that I have. I haven't done this in a minute, so I know I have some dead skin around my cuticle area. So we're about to remove that. And y'all, please forgive my voice if I hear crackling. It's late and I'm just now editing this video. So please forgive me for that. And yeah, we just must have prepared these toes. I love these nails, man. I love the way they came out. My bling toenails was so fire. I'm going to try to do um, these videos once a week. I said it's going to be my, my thing for the new year. Because I want to do a new nail set once a week. And I really want to keep that up. Um, so, of course, this week is up, it's all about my bling toenails and my blue jean press-on nails. So, next week, I'm, I don't really know what I want to do. I got some ideas. Like, I got a bunch of stuff written down. But if y'all got some ideas and stuff or some nail designs y'all want me to try, some press-on toenail designs y'all want me to try, just leave it down in the comments below. Um, I would love to hear what y'all got to say, y'all feedback and everything. Because I've been needing ideas, especially if I plan on doing this once a week. So it will be two videos. It will be one video showing how I do the nails, like the tutorial of it. And then the second video will be how I shoot the content. And of course the content is going to keep getting better and better. Um, like I said, this video, this content for this one kind of fell apart because I couldn't find certain things. And I wanted to get it out because I honestly had these nails made for a while now. It's been like probably over a month. So I'm like, I'm just going to get it out at the top of the new year. So that's what we doing. And yeah, we're gonna keep getting better and better with the content, with the nail designs. I want man, my stuff is 2023. Like my nail designs to be way crazier than they were for 2022, which was good. It's by far my best year I had as far as nails go. But we gotta take it up a notch. So now you see me use the alcohol wipe to dehydrate the nails after y'all see me remove the shine. And now I'm just making sure they measure up right. Those the nails that I'm wearing press on nails they're so cute and i'm just putting the glue on and sometimes i put too much it's, it's okay it don't really matter like it drips to the side wipe it keep it moving
and it's okay too if you have to clip your size down i always have to clip my size down especially if your toenails grow that way like mine's grow wide if that makes sense like i have small like they're not big or nothing but they just kind of grow wide they don't grow narrow so i always have to make sure to clip my size down just so it doesn't show on the side of the press on toenail and you can't even tell like it doesn't hurt or nothing you just clip down the nail as much as possible i really don't care because i always wear my feet are always covered i always wear press on toenails so i don't really care about the like cutting down my toenails my natural toenails all the way down like that doesn't bother me because i keep them covered anyways And when you see me do a vanilla like that, I'm making sure that it goes right underneath my the cuticle area. Like I'm making sure I'm pushing my cuticles even further up than I already have. So it looks as natural as possible. And now I'm just about to glue it down. And when I do glue it down, at least hold it down for a couple seconds. Just to make sure that it sticks. The KDS glued off. Y'all know about it. Y'all know. Amazing glue. I swear by it. It glues like that. Super strong. By far the best glue I've ever used. So now we finishing up with the toes. Y'all, these were so freaking cute. Only thing I was missing was freaking toenail rings. And I kept telling myself, you need toenail rings, you need toenail rings. But I never ordered them. And I'm trying to figure out where you buy them from. Because I used to wear toenail rings, toenail rings when I was younger. And I got from the hair store. But I don't know if they got them no more. I never went to go check. I don't know why. But I should have. Because, man, this would have been so fire with some toenail rings. I did have an anklet. That I had got from Sheen. I had forgot all about it. But that looked really cute with it. But I really wish I had some freaking toenail rings. I'm going to order some for next time for sure. So then I have to clip down my, my big toe just a little bit more. Just because I make sure. I don't like my big toe to be long. So when I do do the customizing for the big toe. My press on nails. I don't have to cut them. But I file them down like good enough. So they're not long at all. I hate to have a really big not big but like a long big toenail i hate that so now y'all see me just putting on my rings that's what i do before i put on my press on nails because it just makes it way easier like i put the oil all around my nails way before i put on my press on nails so i don't have to worry about it and y'all these is the blue jean heels now my nails don't match the exact color like i thought they would but it's okay we'll make it work and so now you see me just pretty much laying out how much of my content really i'm in my basement and you know like i said the content will get better and better we thugging it out we gonna get it done it is what it is y'all ran out of tape i only could tape down that part now y'all see me looking like what the heck girl ran out of tape now you see me just oiling up my legs i thought there was gonna be any more but there wasn't so now i'm just um pinning on my heels making sure uh, everything's good i'm gonna do all this with my nails on because i don't want no issues and my face look ashy so i will with those too though don't worry but so i put on my nails when i'm shooting content because i do not want to keep them on so yes i'm gonna push my cuticle back but now you're gonna see me put oil all over my hands and all over the nails 
because I do not want them to stick for a long time. And even then, it was hard to take some of them off. So then I put the glue. And of course, slide them up, put them right there on. Exactly up to the cuticle. Look at that bling. Ooh. And I'm going to do every nail like that. And my hands are already oiled, as y'all can see, around the cuticle area. So we ain't got to worry about that. Rings are already on. So now I got to do is start shooting and putting together the content. So now we're getting towards the end of the video and I'm only going to show a couple shots of the nails and I'm shooting the content. The video is already up um, of me shooting the content by 15 seconds and let me know what y'all think.